Yes, welcome back. <laughs> this is the touchline on Y254. Beautiful to have you again and pleasure to be having uh, three guests on the set. They're all from one team, should be two teams, but it's one team, two in one. That's the members of the Black Tigers and the Black Tigresses hockey teams that they feature in the Kenya Hockey Union Leagues. And that's the, I'll begin with the coach, Eddie, right? Eddie Odiamo is the coach for the Black Tigers. Yes, yes. And of course, at the center is Colette Wairati, who also stands out for uh, the Black Tigresses uh, hockey team. She's also the assistant captain for the club. And on my far right is Colin Sodiambo, who's the captain for the Black Tigers. Karibuni sana. Sanchi, Sanchi. And great to have you. Let's talk about your uh, performances last season and how they <coughs> inform how you're going to participate, how that informs your target this season. But let's talk about how the club was formed, uh, Eddie. Okay, about uh, how the club was formed, mm -hmm. I think I'll give it to Collins. Uh, Collins. Some more details on that. Yes, Collins. How did you hire him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, on hiring him, I'll come back to that. But <laughs> first of all, let me talk about the club. Yes. The club was formed back in 2017 mm -hmm. at PC Kinyanjui. Mm -hmm. That is in satellite, mm -hmm. Dagoriti. Uh, it was just a group of friends mm -hmm. who came together after high school. Mm -hmm. We decided to join a team, mm -hmm. and we were just playing. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no league match, just friendlies mm -hmm. and tournaments. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in back in 2017. Mm -hmm. Then uh, back in uh, the, our first session mm -hmm. of the league, mm -hmm. we came in as Nairobi Chapel. Mm -hmm. See, uh, Nairobi Chapel wanted a hockey team, mm -hmm. and since we had no sponsors, and uh, we were just a group of boys and ladies who were playing, mm -hmm. we decided to play for the Nairobi mm -hmm. Chapel for the first season. Mm -hmm. Uh, after the first season, mm -hmm. we decided now it's time mm -hmm. we come back as our, our real name, mm -hmm. which is Black Tigers and mm -hmm. Black Tigers, mm -hmm. is when we joined now the National League as Black Tigers, mm -hmm. and uh, Black Tigers joined the Super League, mm -hmm. and uh, this, that was our second season. Mm -hmm. Now this they are playing is our third season. Mm -hmm. So that's a brief history of our Yeah, and what, what informed the choice of the name? Uh, Black the Tiger. Tigers. And the color, <laughs> as he thinks, <laughs> as he thinks. Uh, Colette, uh, for you, is it your could be your maybe first season at the club, or you've been there for for some time? Not really. Not uh -huh. second season. Since second season, yes. Yeah, the previous season we were still in Super League, mm -hmm. but this is our second season mm -hmm. playing for mm -hmm. Black Tech Race. Mm -hmm. I mean, and also the assistant captain, ninth place last season. But this what the club wanted, just three. Uh, three places, but what, what does such performance, how did it inform your targets this season now? Mm. It wasn't our best, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. but we're working towards moving a step higher and mm -hmm. And what are the lessons that you picked from maybe your performance last season? Uh, most of our players were not consistent. Mm -hmm. That was one thing that really messed us up. Mm -hmm. And then lack of sponsors mm -hmm. really pulled us down mm -hmm. since we were not well financially mm -hmm. to support other players to mm -hmm. come and play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, when did you join uh, Black Tigers as a coach? And so far, have you, would you say that Ume, Ume, Ume has said they achieve their targets? Okay. Uh, I'm not really like a visitor to them mm -hmm. because uh, Wakianza, mm -hmm. I was there for some time. Mm -hmm. Then I had some commitments and I had to leave. Mm -hmm then came back this season mm -hmm. uh, so like it's a young club mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. uh, with young players you know and uh, without the finances sometimes they really struggle a lot even coming for trainings and, mm -hmm. and whatever so as a coach it's really cha challenging to deal with such because mm -hmm. you have to like balance the off pitch mm -hmm. and on pitch uh, activity mm -hmm. You really need to know where to push mm -hmm. and when not to push. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And for Collins, I mean, the club so far playing in the National League, right? Yes. I mean, what do you think that, uh, what are the targets now? Okay. So far, I, ca I can actually say this season, mm -hmm. uh, currently we are at position number three. Mm -hmm. It was not our good start mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. we lost our first match. Mm -hmm. But the other matches, mm -hmm. we've so far had two wins, one draw. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are in position three. Mm -hmm. And we are, pro we are aiming mm -hmm. to go to the next league, which mm -hmm. is the Super League. Mm -hmm. So since we are playing just one league, mm -hmm. so the more wins, the better. Yes, the more wins, the better. Yes. And so far you start, how would you rate it uh, in third place, as you've said? But what, what, what do you think has been the key factor to the, for the opening games? Ambawe Kikua, 
then it will keep alive your hopes of advancing to the next tier. I can say my boys are uh, aiming high. Mm -hmm. We heads up, heads up mm -hmm. after every game. Mm -hmm. We finish this one, mm -hmm. we focus to the next. Mm -hmm. So that is our motto. Mm -hmm. This one is done, now focus to the next. Mm -hmm. Our first game we lost, we focus to the next, we won. Mm -hmm. So the more wins we, we are aiming for, we know we'll get there to the Super League. Mm -hmm. So I know my boys will do it. Uh -huh. Yes. And not easy to, for, peop, for players to pick up themselves after, let's say, result ambayo ili wende ya vingine. Sio, na matarajio. Obvious, so najwa, kuna wale tu watasema, eh, haiku watu yushin uh -huh. game. Uh -huh. But as a captain, uh -huh. I must say, I'll just give them a heads up. Uh -huh. We can do it. Go back to the training, back uh -huh. to the drawing board, uh -huh. restructure, come back. Uh -huh win this game. Now the other negative side is kept aside. Now we focus to the positive. Uh -huh. Yes. Colette, maybe this season, what, what, what do you think should now happen? And maybe mentally may you prepare Aja to tackle this season? Uh, I think this season will perform better, mm -hmm. much better. Mm -hmm. Considering now we have a coach mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. initially we didn't. Mm -hmm. And I think the fact that coach came in and motivated us and uh -huh. is always there. Uh -huh. For ladies, mentally, we are well prepared. Uh -huh. So physically, that's uh -huh. what we are working on this uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. Because even when you watch our games, uh -huh. like we are always on uh -huh. until a certain point. Uh -huh. And that's what we are working on, like to keep the focus uh -huh. till uh -huh. until the end of the game. Uh -huh. And the previous matches we've had, uh -huh. even those who are fans, those who are our friends can attest that we have really improved mm -hmm. and we are focusing on so m much better results mm -hmm. this season. Playing play with no coach, that's a tough one. Very, uh -huh. <laughs> very tough. Everybody, who takes up the role now? Now we have like <laughs> a guy from the men's team uh -huh. comes in uh -huh. as a coach uh -huh. to the table or as a TM uh -huh. because we don't have a coach. Uh -huh. And then, you know, it's not the same thing as having a coach. Uh -huh. Uh, a main coach mm -hmm. and then there are some things that a coach will tackle differently mm -hmm. than another player mm -hmm. now that's the difference mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Eddie for for the black tigers right for you it could say that you've begun well actually let me say it's going to be a process mm -hmm. especially for the ladies mm -hmm. because most of them we don't even have the numbers actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, if there's a hockey player there out there listening, maybe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we would like to have more numbers in our training sessions. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think that will keep them going because mm -hmm. managing a ladies' team is not easy. For the boys, I think they did well during their when they were signing players, and uh, mm -hmm. I think I have a, a big plan for the team. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Actually, they can go to the Super League. Uh -huh. Yeah, N the following season still. Yes, yes. I mean, and where maybe. For before the point gets lost, where do you train and, and, and how could oh. the players, uh, what age? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, okay, as per now, I need uh, young players, mm -hmm. uh, maybe from uh, just from uh, form four or joining the university mm -hmm. because at least when you have a younger player, it's more easier to train both than male and female, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we train at uh, League Indogo, mm -hmm. uh, just on Gong Road, Gong Gong Road. Uh -huh. yeah. So, if anyone is willing, you uh -huh. can join us there. Uh -huh. We train on Wednesdays, Thursday and Friday, uh -huh. from uh, 4.30. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're yeah. always there. And, and I mean, uh, not raising numbers could be one of the challenges, right? Yes, yes, but because... What, what, how, how do you overcome other challenges? Maybe you can mention them. Okay, as, as we speak now, uh -huh. like, is a main challenge. Uh -huh. And uh, at least you can tackle that by just having the numbers because you find that when you're having a game and you, uh, you have like 12 players mm -hmm. you want you are trying to like make even a first 11 or something how you're going to sub mm -hmm. you just have one sub mm -hmm. and the other team has maybe 18 players because mm -hmm. the maximum you can play is 18 players mm -hmm. so you're really trying so many Calculation is in your head to fix <laughs> 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 whatever. It's a booming. Yeah, <laughs> biggest of booming is Anna, and uh, it's really a challenging thing when, when they don't have the numbers. Uh -huh. And again, when they don't have the numbers, the players are very comfortable because they know they will always be on the lineup, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. comes. Mm -hmm. So, like in training, they don't give their best. Competition for no position. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, at least when you have the numbers, they'll, they'll be competing. This time you're not in the lineup, mm -hmm. you work hard to get into the lineup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yes. And for men, have, have you picked up the challenge, Collins? Yes. Uh, we are trying to gather in and get some players. Mm -hmm. It's not easy mm -hmm. because they are not, uh, there are teams out there who are mm -hmm. playing the national, the Super League, the Premier League, mm -hmm. and uh, National League, we have actually three zones. Mm -hmm. There's Eastern, mm -hmm. Central, and Western. Mm -hmm. Uh, for us, we are playing the Eastern Zone, mm -hmm. and uh, for we are training at Ligindogo next to Alekins. Yes. At the same time, we are next to Impala Club. Mm -hmm. So there's another competition for hockey, mm -hmm. because Impala is, is there, and they have like all the facilities, the pitch, mm -hmm. and us, we are just using a small ground to mm -hmm. train. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you get much players, mm -hmm. it will be much easier as a competition, mm -hmm. because as long as we are seeing the same numbers during training, mm -hmm. I'm sure I'll be there in the first eleven. Mm -hmm. So we just need players who can join us. Mm -hmm. We'll really appreciate. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and of course, um, looking at uh, the hopes and dreams for this season, definitely your performance. Do you think it will attract your players? Yes, yes, because currently we can say we are making our name bigger. Mm -hmm. Because the higher you perform, the more you are known here. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Yes, uh -huh. and is it if, uh, is it becomes for you to get the players exactly. and maybe the sponsorship, the partners? How how has this been like uh, a factor? Ah, uh, I can say it has been really a big factor <laughs> because for us, mm -hmm. we are a self-sponsored club, mm -hmm. let me say that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have away matches, mm -hmm. you'll get that some players are students, mm -hmm. some are working, mm -hmm. but you can see uh, one person can only sponsor one person. Mm -hmm. And the parent cannot be giving a player mm -hmm. uh, each time fair, mm -hmm. any time you go away. Sure. So I can say uh, sponsorship is one of a factor that is leading us down since funding I can't be able to fund someone mm -hmm. like daily, daily. Mm -hmm. Come for training, I'll be giving you fair, be giving you fair. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm, I'm a young man who's trying to make my future bright. Yeah. Yes. So, if there's anybody who's willing to sponsor up, you can just, uh, we have our, our page, mm -hmm. Black Tigers and Black Tigress, mm -hmm. uh, both Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, and Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our email there, mm -hmm. they can just reach out to mm -hmm. us, we'll be mm -hmm. able to reply to them, mm -hmm. yes. And maybe for Colette, the competition, maybe your participation in the um, last season as well as the other season and how maybe things panned out, uh, facing some of the established teams like Sliders, how, how, what, what, how much of a big deal did you learn, did the club learn from uh. such clubs, which also actually they just fund themselves and they keep going? didn't lie but mm -hmm. it was a tough mm -hmm. match mm -hmm. like knowing very well you're going to face sliders they've been there for like years they have experienced players mm -hmm. they have all the fans they need mm -hmm. then for you mm -hmm. maybe it's even the first time you're even playing for a club mm -hmm. <laughs> for a league match mm -hmm. uh, the main thing that really pulled us down was first self-confidence like we have never done this. Mm -hmm. It's the first time we are doing. We are here playing with people who have played for over five years and we didn't even know what to expect, how it to turn out. And then another thing is, at times players don't make to come and train at the same place. So you find other people train at j -Quad, probably KCA. Mm -hmm. Then we meet during a match. Mm -hmm. We are not, like we have not bonded well. Mm -hmm. That was a, re a, a factor mm -hmm. last season, and that's mm -hmm. why this season we like strive. Most of our trainings, we come out together. Mm -hmm. We train in large numbers at the same pitch, mm -hmm. so that it can be easier to coordinate during games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, Eddie, with the with, with this, how you know the Kenyan hockey? Do you think that uh, we could be back where we belong, maybe <laughs> years back, on, on how? I know the, the season kind of okay. lagged. In general, couple of years. Just, just our club. I mean, you, 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 feed, you feed the national team. Your players <laughs> go on to present the, the, the country. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, as uh, Collins was saying, mm -hmm. I think uh, even from our national team, mm -hmm. we really like need the sponsorship deals and those things because you find a player going for those trials and those trainings, mm -hmm. You have to fund yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to get your transport and whatever, mm -hmm. and your equipment. Okay, when you're going for training, mm -hmm. at least when you get a, a sponsor, mm -hmm. they can offer that, mm -hmm. and uh, that motivate motivate the player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. when you get that motivation, mm -hmm. at least as a young player, mm -hmm. you have something to strive for. Mm -hmm. You're not just going there like to present yourself. Mm -hmm. You know you're going there to fight for something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and for, for you to get the result, the desired result, I know that maybe your target is to get the team up the tiers and um, eventually play, reach the top. That's the, the Premier League, right? Yes, what, yes. what do you think will be decisive in this? Okay. Uh, we uh, Currently, we're trying to learn like uh, new structures because uh, me, my, my coaching is more based on uh, like uh, position hockey or something mm -hmm. and when I came to the club I just found these guys just playing hockey mm -hmm. the street hockey like we enjoy and that's going scope mm -hmm. and no nothing beautiful about it mm -hmm. so uh, I'm trying to create like a system in their play mm -hmm. so that at least a player joining may know that okay we play in a certain way mm -hmm. okay so uh, I have a strong belief that when you get the system right mm -hmm. when we get to the Super League and Premier League mm -hmm. because there you're going to find like uh, other clubs that are playing structured hockey. Mm -hmm. So it will be much easier mm -hmm. to navigate your way around those clubs. Mm -hmm. But the kind of hockey they used to play, mm -hmm. I don't think they could have managed. Have you, have you, have you helped them change? Have you few still? Yes, 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 yes they're mm -hmm. changing. It's a bit hard because uh -huh. you don't get the numbers in training uh -huh. sometimes. This guy comes, okay, like uh, I said earlier, mm -hmm. we train on Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. So on Wednesday, maybe you have like uh, seven guys in training. Mm -hmm. Then on Thursday, you don't get the seven, you mm -hmm. get another six mm -hmm. new faces. Mm -hmm. Then on Friday, <laughs> the other six and the other seven are out there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like uh, really uh, challenging. I mean, did, did you pick, did you pick, when did you pick on coaching or hockey? Okay, hockey coaching, like... Uh, did you know that it will be this tough? And no, I didn't know that going to be this up. But I think uh, I was uh, geared up for it because <laughs> I started uh, way back. Uh, I coached uh, uh, high school ladies, uh -huh. alliance girls, uh -huh. and state house girls. Uh -huh. And you know, coaching girls, you like, just, you need to be patient. Uh -huh. So I think from there I learned to be patient with players. You won know. titles with them? Uh, alliance, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. But at Street House, I was still a new game. This mm -hmm. was just doing trial and error. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. yep. Nice. Uh -huh. So you, you've handled uh, the, the, the budding talent, yes, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, for, for your season targets, just before we, as we come to a close, for your season targets, what, what, what would you say? I mean, um, opening four games, right? Yeah. And in third place, that's, that, that's what should go on and, and maybe the yes, top yes, slot yes. should be there. What is in the eyes? Mm. Like, okay, I think for the main team, it's a, a workable thing mm -hmm. to make it to the, to the next level. Mm -hmm. For the ladies, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not saying they're bad, but mm -hmm. I think they'll need uh, some time to catch up. Mm -hmm. Because uh, just as I said, mm -hmm. coaching ladies is not that easy. Mm -hmm. You need to be patient. You have to be patient. And I cannot push them to the limit and I know they won't get there. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying. Mm -hmm. The team is trying, and I'm sure we'll get something, but I don't think it's going to be this season. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe next season we'll get some players, add some numbers, and then we, we can find Build on that. Yes. Uh, Colette, uh, maybe for your season targets this particular coming season, what, what, what would you say? Ninth was, was, was not what you wanted. Yeah. Now what do you want? Uh, as ladies, we, our target was to get to top five mm -hmm. by the end of this season mm -hmm. and it's workable. Mm -hmm. I know we can get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as a player maybe what would you say would be your contribution this season to get the players and the assistant captain as well to get the whole team there? To get the whole team there. Mm -hmm. For for ladies it works. For us it mm -hmm. has worked when we put the players as family. Mm -hmm. Like for us ladies mm -hmm. we usually put our fellow players as our sisters mm -hmm. and we when you keep on checking on someone mm -hmm. he, she would find a reason to come for training mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. is for this season mm -hmm. we have really improved mm -hmm. and we are moving on so well mm -hmm. and I know by the time we are ending the season mm -hmm. we will be somewhere yes indeed mm -hmm. we'll be somewhere better than the ninth position but yes. it doesn't matter you remaining in the league I think is the main <coughs> thing you know and staying <coughs> there and keep fighting having another chance to maybe claim the honours is what uh, matters. Uh, for Collins, yes. the team, of course, in a good steed, what should now happen um, from the playing unit? Yes, I can say my boys should maintain the same pace. Mm -hmm. Because when he keeps the header mm -hmm. and they maintain the same uh, pace, mm -hmm. we, I'm sure we'll get to mm -hmm. our main aim. Mm -hmm. So the positivity, mm -hmm. higher than the negativity. Uh -huh. Yes. Key players that should not leave 
<laughs> key players in the team that have been so good for the team this particular run and should not leave, should stay? Yes, I got some boys. Maybe I can just mention sure, that. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, I have my assistant captain, uh -huh. who is just a young man. Uh -huh. He's currently training for the under-21. Uh, what's he's, his name? His name is James. Uh -huh. Uh, I have uh, uh, Ian, mm -hmm. Ian Wekesa, mm -hmm. he's uh, the one assisting me in managing the team. Mm -hmm. I have my last man by the name Tony, mm -hmm. and uh, I also have uh, my uh, goalkeeper, mm -hmm. he's a young boy, mm -hmm. he's actually a form four, mm -hmm. currently at Alliance Boys, mm -hmm. his name is Brandon. Mm -hmm. But now he's back to school, mm -hmm. uh, we have our second goalkeeper by the name Victor. Mm -hmm. So yes, those are my key players. Mm -hmm. I have uh, my far striking, mm -hmm. I have Jonah Minor, mm -hmm. I have Bob, mm -hmm. I have Alvin, mm -hmm. I have Kevin. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many names, yes. yes. Sure. Colette, keep players, you're the assistant captain, you should never leave. <laughs> <laughs> starting with that. <laughs> yes, starting with that. <laughs> I'll yes. try, I'll try. Uh -huh. Being a lady, uh -huh. you never, you never, like, say I'll never leave. Uh -huh. uh, for me, I have keep players. Uh -huh. My captain, uh -huh. Sheila Orena. Uh -huh. uh, I also have one who we play. I'm a defender. Uh -huh. I'm the last man. Uh -huh. I play at number five. So I have number four who is uh -huh. Sharon. Uh -huh. uh, and I also have uh, my striker at the far end uh -huh. who is Celestine. Uh -huh. We also have a player named Kidini, uh -huh. Michelle. Uh -huh. We have Melissa. We have so many other players. Who else? Diana, uh -huh. Diana, we have Cynthia, Gideo, those are among the players that, that never lack, like uh -huh. anytime you are called upon, uh -huh. I have key players that when I call, I know they'll, they'll come in, uh -huh. they'll come for friendlies, they'll come for game, uh -huh. whenever it is there. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Black Tigers and Black Tigresses. But I think the next session, you, uh, Collins should tell us why they chose the name Black and as well as a Tiger. They all found in Africa, they were Black. But <laughs> beautiful stuff. Thank you so much and wish yeah, you all the best, okay. right? At the end of the season, I think you guys should come back again yes, and we yes, talk yes. about, you analyze, give us the full analysis of the whole uh, whole season and now what does the future hold for you, right? Yeah. Okay. All the best, guys. Black Thank Tigers you. and Black Tigers are two teams that participate in the Men's National League. That's the Black Tigers and the of course, the Black Tigress take part in the Super League. We come up with the fans, and that should be the last bit of uh, this particular show. So stay tuned on Y254. are very much on one man, and he's not even on the pitch. He's in the dugout at the side. Of course, I'm referring to Ilkay Gundogan.